Hey, I'm Kayla Smith. I work with individuals and couples at Red Therapy Group, and I wanted to take just a little bit of time to talk about a term that comes up really often with my clients, and that is communication. Why is it so hard? What do we mean when we're talking about communication? And how do we get unstuck from moments of miscommunication? So this happens with our spouse, with a friend, with a parent. Um, and when I hear the word communication come up in session, my ears kind of get perked up because what I also hear attached to that is connection. As humans, we're wired to be connected. We are deep down wired to know that we matter, that we're loved, that we're seen and heard and valued, that we're enough and that um, we really are important to the people in our life. And so what happens when that gets threatened, whether we're aware of it or not, we feel the fear of those big questions. What if, what if we aren't valued? What if we don't matter? What if actually we're not enough? And so we act upon that. We respond. We kind of protect ourselves. So communication really goes out the window and it's really hard to access logic and thinking logically in those moments. But what we can access really easily is emotion. So as an emotionally focused therapist, what I love to help clients do is slow down and see the game rather than the ball to help them focus on the deeper emotions that might be beneath the surface that the other person in the relationship may not even know that they're feeling. This takes building safety, vulnerability, and time, of course, practice. Um, but the beautiful thing about it is being able to reach for people in new ways because we really never outgrow needing each other. And so when we can reach in new and effective ways, we can get those needs met that we're terrified may not be ever met. When we can know that we really are important, that we're enough, that we matter, that we're loved, that we're wanted, a lot of the other problems kind of go away. Um, when we can really know that deep down and be reassured of that as many times as we need to be. And so I think that EFT is a really great tool to help us communicate or connect in new ways to help us invite rather than accuse and that um, problems really are invitations for intimacy and so we can come out the other side of this work feeling even closer to the people in our life.